على الصلاة حي على الفلاة حي على الفلاة إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله قال الله تعالى يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تسالون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا قال الله تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله قولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما. قال الله تعالى: يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون. ثم اما بعد فان خير اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي وهدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار. بلغ الرسالة وعد الأمانة وكشف الأمة ونصح الأمة وجاهدت في الله حق جهاده حتى أعطاه اليقين ثم ما بعد أستاذ بيني من الله سبحانه وتعالى وسلم بسم الله سلوك السنة سوى بلا بكر في محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم and his family and his companions and all of his followers until the end of the time إن شاء الله تلاقي أنا أتجل لكي 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 regarding the importance of Muharram, regarding the importance of the month that is coming, the first month of Islamic calendar, the new year of Islamic calendar. How do we celebrate the new year? Islamic new year. <coughs> May Allah give us tawfiq. Umma tawfiq billah billah. As you all know, nobody is immortal. Every single person will have to die. Every single creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will perish, except everything will be done except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, كُلُّ نَفْسٍ زَاعِفَةُ الْمَوْتِ وَإِنَّمَا تُوَفَّانَ أُجُورَكُمْ يَوْنَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَمَنْ زُقْسِحَ عَلِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ فَقَدْ فَازِ وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْجُرُورِ Every soul will test death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in and he will only be given a compensation on the day of resurrection. So he who is drawn away from the fire and admitted to paradise has attained his desire. And what is the life of this world except the enjoyment of illusion? SubhanAllah, this verse is immense. Allah SWT is saying, those who will go to Jannah, paradise, he will have his desired place. So for us, the desired place is the Jannah, the paradise. If you go to paradise, then you can say you are successful. <clears throat> and then Allah SWT said, What is the life of this world except the enjoyment of creation? This is nothing but an amusement, nothing but a delusion for us. We are running behind 
things that are delusion for us. We are working for things that is delusion for us. We don't realize those things. May Allah give us tawfiq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further said in the Quran, وَلَا تَدْرُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُمْ كُلُّ شَيْءٍ حَالِكُمْ إِلَّا وَجْهَهُ لَهُ الْمُقْلَعُ الْحُكْمُ وَإِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And do not invoke with Allah another deity. There is no deity except Him. Everything will be destroyed except His face. He is the judgment. His is the judgment and to Him you will return. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, do not invoke with Allah another deity. Do not do shirk. Don't associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is no Lord beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything will be destroyed except His face. So me and you and everyone, everything will be destroyed except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further said in the Quran, كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ وَيَرْقَ وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُنْ جَلَالِ وَالْإِقْرَامِ Everyone upon the earth will perish. And there will remain the face of your Lord, the owner of the majesty, on honor. And we will be asked on the Day of Judgment, how did we spend our times in this world? As we know, we all will die. And after death, everybody will be asked, how did you spend your time? How did you spend your time of 4th of July? How did you waste our time in 4th of July? How did you spend your time by watching the fireworks? How do you spend your money by buying the fireworks? SubhanAllah, the Muslims were so naive, so weak. How can we celebrate the things that have no benefit to us? How can we celebrate the things, how can we spend our time in the things that has no benefit to us? Which is other impermissible in Islam. Spending your wealth, spending your time for no reason. Allah SWT will ask us about every single moment to spend in this world. Every single penny we spend in this world. How do we earn it? How do we spend it? Brothers among us celebrated the 4th of July. SubhanAllah, and they are mentioning celebrating 4th of July of America. But do you even understand what is 4th of July? What do you have to do with 4th of July? Why are you wasting your time? And then we buy, we buy, we buy fireworks. And we make party in our backyard. We do barbecue and we call, call friends and families and brothers. And then we enjoy. <coughs> do you even know what is enjoy? SubhanAllah. May Allah give us tawfiq. Ibn Masood of the Lord reported. He said, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La tazulu qadaru ibn Adam yawm al-qiyam min aindi rabbi. حتى يس حتى يسأل عن خمس عن عمري عن عمره فيما فيما أفنه. رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال: "The son of Adam will not be dismissed from his love in the day of resurrection until he is questioned about five things. Nobody can move in the day of judgment except until he will be questioned about five things. What are those? Number one, Allah will ask him about his life and how he lived it." So Allah will ask us in the day of judgment about our life and how did we spend our life? How did we live our life? So be ready to answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how do you spend your time? Unnecessary things for unnecessary reason. And then he will ask us about his youth and how he expend how he expended it. And his wealth and how he earned it and how he spent it and how he acted upon his knowledge. So brothers among us who knows about these things, who doesn't know that doing fireworks is not, have no benefit in Islam? You're just wasting your money. This money, you could do salafah. You could give it to someone who can live for a month. You could give it to a family who can live for months and months. SubhanAllah. For you, maybe it's only hundred dollars. For somebody, it's maybe two months of provision. For a family, maybe it's two months of provision. When can we realize? When can we understand? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us, how do you spend your wealth? You think your wealth is your wealth? Allah has given you this wealth to test you. The house you're living in today, were you in this house five years, ten years, fifteen years back? Somebody else was in this house. Maybe 50 years later and somebody else will be in this house. 
This property we are in today, this is not our property. This was not our property 10 years ago, 15 years ago. So many people came and left, came and left, and then their property is still there. You think it's your property? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon you the responsibility to test it. Allah wa ta'ala listen, Now you misuse this property, this blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah give it to someone else. And you will become skin again. SubhanAllah. May Allah give us understanding. Ibn Abbas will report it. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam take advantage of five before five. Youth before your old age. So when you are you, young, take advantage of you, young age. Before your old age come. Before you have no place to go beside masjid. At some point, you will have no place to go beside masjid. So if you utilize your youth, utilize your young time before you reach to your old age. Become the people of Masjid. Become the people of Sunnah while you have time. In the day of resurrection, the seven people will be in the shade of the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of them, those young men whose heart is attached to Masjid. So utilize your time while you have your time. And the second thing, your health before your illness. So utilize your health before your illness. And the third thing, your rich, riches before your poverty. So while you have money, utilize your money on a proper cause. While you have wealth, spend your wealth in a proper cause. So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will pass in the day of judgment or test. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah subhanahu wa said, your free time before your work and your life before your death. But most importantly, your life before your death. Before you die, come back to Allah and His Messenger. Come back to Islam. Before you realize that it's, uh, I'm supposed to do these things, but you are too late. You cannot come back. Do sadaqah, do charity, do good deeds, do, uh, do some good, uh, knowledgeable things. May Allah give us tawfiq. Sabit ibn Hajjad reported, Awr ibn Khattab ibn Hajjad said, Hold yourself accountable before you are held accountable and evaluate yourself before you are evaluated. For the recording will be easier upon you tomorrow if you hold yourself accountable today. Amr bin Khattab said, Hold yourself accountable before you are held accountable in the death resurrection. If you do that today, the hisab will be easier for you in the death resurrection. So if you don't catch yourself, and if you don't hold yourself from going astray, nobody can stop you, nothing can stop you. Who doesn't know haram in Islam? Who doesn't know what is haram, what is um, not beneficial in Islam? Everybody knows, everybody has knowledge about these things. Like spending money, in what cause? Wasting money, in what reason? Everybody knows these things. SubhanAllah. And still we don't realize. Ash ibn Malik reported, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, All the other children of Adam are sinners. All the children of Adam are sinners. And the best sinners are those who repent. So we have time. We can repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will forgive us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change our sins to the benefit in our, in our favor. So while we have time, please repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Come back to Allah and His Messenger. Come back to Islam. Please, my brothers, repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before it's too late. Subhanallah, my sisters, please cover yourself before you've been covered without your, without your, um, like even if you want or not, while you are going into death, when you will die, when you die, people will cover you. So cover yourself before the day comes. Before that day comes. May Allah give us our faith. <coughs> now, today is 28th Muharram. So tomorrow, Saturday night, tomorrow night, we will see if the moon is, you can see the moon. If you can see the moon, the Sunday, the first day of the 28th, we will hit the today. So if we see the moon on tomorrow night, then Sunday will be the first of Muharram. If not, then Monday the first of Muharram. 
the beam yard is starting there. So what should you do? Should you do fireworks? No, we don't celebrate in Islam. In Islam, we don't celebrate the new year. If we want to celebrate, there are so many days to celebrate in Islam. If you want to celebrate, there are so many days. Like Day of Makkah Day, Battle of Badr, Day of Battle of Badr. If you want to celebrate the Prophet's birthday, if you want to celebrate the, the Khilafah of Amr ibn Khattab, Khilafah of Amr ibn Khattab, if you want to celebrate, we can celebrate so many days. But in Islam, we can we celebrate only two days, two Eid, that's it. Prophet Muhammad himself did not celebrate any other days. So we don't celebrate. Rather, Prophet Muhammad Sallam taught us a dua. Every time there is a new month comes, when you see the moon, there is a dua to make. What is the dua? Prophet Muhammad taught us. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma ahillahu alayna bil amn wal iman. Wa salamat wal islam. Wa tawfiq lima tuhibu rabbuna wa tadda. Rabbuna wa rabbuka Allah. Allah is the most great. Allah is the greatest. Oh Allah, bring us the new moon with security and faith, with peace and in Islam. And in harmony and with uh, what our Lord loves and what pleases Him. Our Lord <coughs> and your Lord is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we can make this dua. When you see the moon, we can make this dua. That's it. Nothing else. There is no other celebration. We, there is no way to celebrate the new um, year or new month or new, new Islamic calendar. No, there is not, it's not such thing in Islam. <coughs> so inshallah, when you see the new moon, if you can make this dua, that's good. If you can, if you don't know this dua, if you forget about this dua, that's it. You have nothing to do. Don't worry about celebrating things. And also, some people think today is the last Jumu'ah of the year, Islamic year. But some people make big issues about the whole last Jumu'ah, Akhir Jumu'ah. There is no such thing as Akhir Jumu'ah. If you did not came to Jumu'ah whole year, and you come to this Jumu'ah, <coughs> it surprise you? No. If you come to this Jumu'ah as repenting to Allah, that Allah did preach so many Jumu'ah, from today, I'm going to start this tomorrow, praying in Salah. That's good. Maybe Allah SWT will forgive you. But if you come, okay, this is the last Jumu'ah. Let's go attend this Jumu'ah and then that, uh, I'm, I'm done. No, this is not going to help you a single bit. May Allah give us tawfiq. As you're talking, this um, unnecessary things, the fireworks, which is spending your time, spending your wealth, spending your money, besides that, it is it's not beneficial, it's harmful for the society. Old people, from the sounds, they can get sick. People can get heart attack. The animals get scared. The house can burn. Yesterday there was a house in um, Suffolk and Agar. The house was burned because of these fireworks. A couple of years ago, I remember um, one, of, one of the houses was burned. The roof was burned because of the fireworks the fall, fall into these things. So this is harmful. And we celebrate these things. We like these things. We are teaching our kids. When you take your kids to these things, they will see these things and they will see this is shiny things. Wow, maybe this is Islam. Why our Islam is not like that? And they will have inferiority complex in their mind. So who did that? You were the one who instilled in their mind. They will feel like, okay, this is better than our religion. <coughs> so you are the one who is responsible for these things. So stay away from these things. Keep your kids stay away from these things. May Allah give us the faith. What are the virtues of Muharram? The month of Allah and Muharram. Muharram is called Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muharram is Shahrullah al Muharram. The month of Allah. Muharram he called us month of Muharram, month of Allah. It's a great and blessed month. It is the first month of Hijri year and is the one, the second month <coughs> concerning the which Allah for the mention of the Quran. So in among these twelve months, the four months are Haram, second months. One of them is the Muharram. Allah for the mention of the Quran. إن عدة الشكون عند الله اثنى عشر شهرا في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والأرض منها أربعة حرم ذلك الدين القيم فلا فلا تزلم فيهن أنفسك. There is the number of months of Allah is twelve months. So was it ordained by Allah 
on the day when he, he created the heavens and the earth, of them four are sacred. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created 12 months in the beginning of the creation. He ordained the 12 months, among them four of them he made haram. Which are the haram months, first of them is Muharram. And then Rajab, and then Zulqadah and Zulhijjah. So we are entering into the Muharram, which is one of the sacred months, one of the blessed months, one of the very important months, first month of the Islamic calendar. <clears throat> and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this is the right religion, wrong not yourself therein. So don't do any sin on this month. Sinning in any other month is sinful. Besides, sinning in this, these haram months is double. <clears throat> Why the Muharram month is given the name Muharram? Al Muharram is so called because it is sacred month. Because the things are haram in this month, that's why the name came Muharram in this month. This month called Muharram. <clears throat> Allah SWT Allah SWT said the wrong of yourselves therein means in these sacred months because doing so is a greater sin from the other times. So doing sin in the other times and doing sin in the Muharram or other sacred months has more more sinful. What is the virtue of the first thing in the Muharram? Abu Radha reported in Prophet Sallallahu said the best fast after, after the Ramadan is in the first thing in the Shahrullah Muharram in the month of Muharram. <coughs> when Prophet Sallallahu said the month of Muharram, the month of Allah, the Shahrullah Muharram, the month of Allah, he meant, when he, what he meant by that, the veneration of this month, the virtues of this month. Very virtuous. This month is very, very virtuous. That's why he said the month of Allah. The month of Muharram is the month of Allah. <clears throat> and anybody can fast on the month, throughout the month, any time of the month you fast, you have the same reward. You have the same virtue. That it, it is the, the the best fast of the, the month of Ramadan is the month of the first thing in the month of Al Muharram, which means you can fast any time of the month. But Prophet he never fast the whole month of Muharram. Actually, he never fasted any other month beside Ramadan, except in the Sha'ban, which he fasted a big amount. A chunk of the month he fasted in the month of Sha'ban. Beside the Sha'ban, he did not fast any, any other month in such a big amount. <clears throat> but if someone wants to fast more days, he can fast in Sha'ban and Muharram. <clears throat> First thing in Ashura. In the month of Muharram, there is a very important day, which is the Ashura. The tenth of Muharram, the, one of the most important days of the year. Ibn Abbas another reported, he said, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi came to Medina, he saw the Jewish people fasting on the day of Ashura, and he said, what is that? And then they said, this is the righteous day. It is the day when Allah saved the children of Israel from their enemies. So Musa salam fasted on this day. So this is the righteous day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved children of Israel from their enemies. So Musa salam fasted on this day by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that because Musa fast, that's why we fast on this day, the Jewish people say. And then Prophet Muhammad said, well, I have, we have more rights on Musa than you. Musa is my brother. So we have more rights on Musa than you. So we will fast on that day too. And from that year, they started fasting on the day of Ashura. So this is the reason we fast on the day of Ashura, not because Imam Hussein died on Karbala. In our culture, we have this myth. Why do we fast on the day of Ashura? Because on that day, Imam Hussein died on Karbala. We fail to realize the hadith came when Prophet Muhammad was alive. The ruling came when Prophet Muhammad was alive. And Imam Hussein died long after he died. So how can why don't you think that how come it is the religion that Prophet Muhammad said something way before Hussein died? So that's not true. The true reason we fast because this day Musa Salam was saved with his people from the people of uh, from the enemies of the Israel. <coughs> what is the virtues of fasting on this our day? Prophet Sallallahu said, for fasting the day of Ashura, I hope that Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala will accept it as expiation for the year that went before. 
মুসলমান বলছেন যারা এই দিনে রোজা রাখবে এটি যেন তাদের পিছনে পূর্ববর্তী এক বছরের গুনাহের কাফারা তো যারা রোজা রাখবে ওই দিন তাদের পিছনে এক বছরের গুনা আল্লাহ সালা মাফ করবে ইনশাল্লাহ <coughs> 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 But it's, it is so happened that the Messenger of Allah, Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away before the next year come. <coughs> the hadith is the Sahih Muslim. So, when he told people to fast on the Ashura, and then people said, Ya Rasulullah, this is the day that Jews and Christians also celebrate. They also fast. And then he said, okay, who differ with them? So, inshallah, from next year, if I leave to see the next year, we'll fast on 9th and 10th. So that's why, but he did not leave to see the next year, so he could not fast. But the uh, command for us is there. So if we, inshallah, will fast 9th and 10th of Muharram. Why? So that we can differ with Jews and Christians. So anybody want to fast, fast 9th and 10th of Muharram, inshallah. Or any other day, 10th and 11th, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us understanding of this healing religion. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from spending our time and wealth and money from unnecessary things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from all the worldly temptations. Rabbana ayat na fitni ya hasan ta'afi la'afi wa ta'afi wa ta'afi wa ta'afi wa ta'afi wa ta'afi wa ta'afi wa ta'afi. Rabbi alhamdulillah ka ma'ar bayani sadira. Rabbi shakli sadri wa yassir li amri. Rahmi al-uqdatan min lisaan yakhafu al-qawli. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma. Allahumma a'izz al-Islam wa al-Muslimin wa adil al-Sayf wa al-Mushikim. Wa dhammin a'adha al-Din wa ahni hawza al-Islam ya Rabb al-Alamin. Allahumma ansur dinak wa kitab wa ka sunnat al-Nabiyyik wa ibadak al-Muwahidin. Allahumma anta ansur al-Islam wa ahlahu fi kulli makan. Allahumma anta ansur al-Islam wa ahlahu fi kulli makan. Ibad Allah, rahimahum Allah, inna Allah ya'bun ibn abdi bin ahsani wa inta idhi al-Qurbu 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 wa inta idhi al-